be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the Big BC Finance channel, and I hope you're having a very lovely day today. So in today's video, we're going to be covering Shiba Inu, what has happened to it recently, and how high I predict the price could potentially go here on Shiba Inu, as well as some key price levels and some trades I'm, of course, looking to make. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. And of course, if you appreciate the daily analysis on this, this channel, then do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So without further ado, let's get those annotations back on the screen. And it's been a few days since I've talked about Shiba Inu, the last real cool that I made here on this channel was a video was when SHIB was down here kind of consolidating within this triangle and of course if you've watched my videos we know we love triangles for this very reason because they give us really clear signals so in this occasion here we called this triangle in my last Shiba Inu video and I said the price target was going to be the distance between the first test and support which is this distance here and it was going to be a major major move if the price did manage to hit this price target and of course what do we see here we see and upon the breakout of Shiba Inu from this triangle we saw the price target reached on that first pump you can see there if we zoom in a little bit that the price pretty much rallied without too much hesitation up until that price target it took about a day so obviously it's another testament to be patient with these price rallies we can't expect it to happen within the hour but you know if you were patient you held for a few days after that breakout you would have made a 16 percent trade there so absolutely congratulations if you did manage to trade that of course it does look like a lot of traders had the same idea because look how the price got up to this point and then came down sharply afterwards it shows me that a lot of people saw this triangle traded it and took profits around this region here thus pushing the price downwards afterwards but what seems to happen next on Shiba Inu was absolutely mental. Of course, Elon Musk announced that he was going to be buying Twitter on Thursday. Initially, Shiba Inu was slow to react, but on Friday, so Friday morning my time, the price just absolutely rocketed. And we can see that go from a price of around 10.3 cents all the way up to a high of where that yellow line is, our resistance at 12.8 cents. And that is a 24% pump. And at the moment, the momentum looks really, really good. So what the first thing I look at always when I see a pump like this is, is the volume actually increasing when the price goes up or is it decreasing? And in Shiba Inu's case, it's a little bit less clear cut than Dogecoin. So Dogecoin, I'm going to be using as reference with dogecoin we can see the volume just make this kind of parabolic average so if you connect the tops of the volume it looks something like that where it's a curve an exponential curve going in upwards direction so not only is the volume increasing it's increasing exponentially so for me i don't think dogecoin has any signs of slowing down i've already said that in my dogecoin video if you do want to watch that it should be linked in this video uh, somewhere on your screen right now but basically, we've, we're seeing a lot of momentum on Dogecoin and it could definitely go further. There's no signs telling me that a trend reversal or a dump is on the way. And it's the same with Shiba Inu. Of course, we do see this increase in volume. It doesn't look so exponential, but we are seeing a general increase in volume even as the price is going up. And of course, if you see this from the perspective of an investor, for example, you know, typically when the price pumps 20, 30, 40%, we should see some significant selling pressure. Of course, we should see some downwards momentum of people taking their profits, you know, they're 30, 40% up if they bought any time over the past few weeks. And yet we're actually still seeing buyers come into the market. So, you know, what I'm saying is typically we should see quite a bit of retracement in the sense that people are taking profits, kind of like we saw here, but we are not seeing that whatsoever. We're still seeing fresh buyers come into Shiba Inu and pushing those prices higher. And of course, right now in Shiba Inu, we're at a very, very important level because if you look here, we've got this long term resistance that goes basically from the peak there. It doesn't perfectly encompass this peak here, but all the peaks after it where the price has shot up to within the day and come back down. So this is the one day chart. You can see that in one candle, we came up to this resistance, came back down. Same here, we came up to this resistance and came back down. And most recently in August here with that bear market rally that we had, the Shiba Inu price pumped 40% there, if you remember that, but then came back down afterwards. And now we are coming up to this resistance once again. The difference here is that on the day chart, you know, this is three, four days worth of bullish price movement on Shiba Inu. It's not one quick motion like we saw here in August. This was just one day's worth of pump up to this resistance here, but this has been building up. So this to me is already a sign of more sustainable price action. Of course, it is a very sharp parabolic rally, but not as sharp as this one here. So, you know, it's taken a bit more time to build up to where there is resistance is. And of course, now we just have the question of can we cross this resistance and everything here does look good. The momentum in Dogecoin looks good. The momentum in Shiba Inu looks good. And of course, the volume looks good as well. So 
if we are able to cross that then that is extremely bullish and we should be able to head on higher now of course if we do break this resistance and we keep going forward with upwards momentum then a next level i do tend and then the next level i'd be looking for is somewhere around this region here on shiba inu so of course if we can break past this resistance here my next price levels sit around 13.5 cents to around 14 cents here on shiba inu of course i know there's four zeros in front of that but i'm just going to say 14 cents to kind of simplify the number but if we do see that then we can get to 13.5 or 14 cents and of course if we're able to break that region there then the next real target that i see on shiba inu kind of coincides with where the peak was in august now of course if we get up to this level then that would be a monumental pump here on shiba inu that would represent 80 percent basically to get up to this level so i'm looking at one step of a time of course i'm looking for this momentum to continue with very high volume i'm continuing to look for these long green candles forming here on shiba inu and of course i'm looking for the price to kind of maintain this trend line of course it's a very steep trend line but if we can maintain this and that is extremely bullish of course I do want to see that the volume is still increasing. If I start to see declining volume as an average, so it's going in a pattern that looks like this, then that's going to be a cause of concern for me that the steam of this pump is starting to run out. And of course, I'm looking on top of everything, I'm looking for tradable patterns. So, you know, just like this triangle that we saw down here kind of showed us that upon a breakout, we were going to see a 16% pump or a 16% dump. We want to look out for similar price patterns on this pump on Shiba Inu. And of course, because things are happening quite quickly on SHIB, then you know we then we might have to use some estimation. But the last price pattern that I saw looks something like this. So you can see already that you know there's well, between the pumps we seek periods of consolidation. So you know it's not just gonna be one straight line up to our goal of 17, 18 cents, for example. There's gonna be areas where the price consolidates like this, and this gives us a good opportunity to trade. So of course, if we see the breakout similar to this, then we get a clear cut price target here and we can trade this for a percentage gain and of course if you're holding Shiba Inu and you see this consolidation pattern happen you know you're not a trader as per se but you're holding Shiba Inu and you want a good exit then look out for these consolidation patterns that happen because of course with these patterns it shows us that there's a brief pause between buyers and sellers and buyers and sellers are temporarily in balance but of course a decision has to be made and it's either a buyer or a seller that wins and you know we when we see a consolidation pattern like this we look for a breakout so of course if you're holding shiba inu and you see a breakout to the downside of a triangle that looks like this that would be a good time you know to just lock in your profits on shiba inu before the the price target is met from a triangle facing down but of course you know if you see a breakout on the triangle on the upside here and you're holding shiba inu this should tell you that there's more upwards price action to be had of course like i say with the volume as well as long as the volume is increasing and we're maintaining this strictly this very bullish trend line here and these moving averages as well so these moving averages are a good indicator as to whether we're bullish or bearish of course at the moment we're extremely bullish so you know if the price is still above this the price is still following this very bullish trend line and the volume is very high then there should be no reason for you to believe that the price will be reversing anytime soon so that should give you confidence to hold shiba inu of course like i say declining volume slowing momentum and trend lines getting broken should be a good sign for you to take your profits but until then i'll be enjoying the pump on shiba inu of course i've given you those price levels if we just zoom back out those price levels are between 13.5 and 14 cents and if we can pump higher than that then i'll be looking at 17 to 18 cents on shiba inu which will be absolutely crazy of course i want to see what we do here with this long-term trend line as well it's been in place since the start of 2022 since 2021 actually on shiba inu so you know very very long-term trend line that the price at the moment on the one hour chart looks like it's struggling to get past but we will see there's a lot of momentum and if we do break above it then we should see additional momentum push the prices well into new territory there for october so really bullish stuff really looking forward to seeing what's happening with shiba inu of course i will keep my trading view updated if i do make any trades or if i do spot any price patterns so do be sure to follow me on there the link is in the description below but otherwise that's pretty much all i have to say it's been fun watching the charts for dogecoin shiba inu in fact for the whole of cryptocurrency as you can see on the side ethereum for example doing a similar run here number two coin and it's up you know literally 26 percent in the space of a week which has been i think the, la the largest pump in ethereum for a long while so it's a really nice sight to see that cryptocurrencies are starting to go up of course dogecoin is leading the way but shiba inu is not far behind so just super excited to be watching the charts to see how high we can go honestly the euphoria from april 2021 has come back with this elon musk twitter acquisition here and whew, i just wonder how high we can go so 
I mean, that's all I'm going to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are holding any ship, then do let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this video again, and I'll see you in my next.